Welcome explorers, if you're new to the channel, this is all about bringing play, passion, and drive to our classrooms, really finding joy in the journey of education and learning and growing. So welcome if you're new. And if you've been to the channel for a while, I just wanna again shout out to you guys. You are a wonderful community and thank you so much. Today, we are gonna be doing another five for five challenge. Carrie Bacham, her Twitter handle is at heck awesome, very good friend of mine, had challenged me to doing a five for five. And she was gonna start hers this week and she had a specific idea. She was gonna do a one or two minute video per day, see if she could keep up five logs a day. And, or five vlogs in the week. And I said, I would love to do that challenge with you. Can, can I join it? So here's our five for five. I'm gonna link to Carrie's down below so we can check out hers. Uh, hopefully you guys get wonderful ideas from both and we all grow together. Without further ado, I'm gonna start my five for five challenge. So let's throw two minutes up on the clock right here and get started. So today's, today's vlog that I'm gonna to try to do is, in two minutes, I'm gonna to talk to you about a great piece of software that's sort of new and just came out and one that I really have enjoyed using. It's called GimKit and it's just GimKit.com, check it out. It is a little bit like Kahoot with some power-ups, uh, some really neat stuff, so let's dive in. I'm gonna show you the little screen screen shit capture here. Here's the one kit I made last week and students really liked it. Uh, and like anything, you make a new kit, you can look at your kit. These are the questions that I have. Uh, you can click edit and you can bring up your question bank. You can edit any of the questions. You can add a new question, you can add an image. Put your question here, the correct answer always goes there, and then you give four other answers. So it's it's just a multiple choice uh, you know, system, but uh, it does do some sort of unique things. So if we were to look, when you set up your game, here's how the game setup screen looks when you say start a new game. Um, you can make it team mode, classic. You're going for a certain amount of dollars earned in a time. Uh, sort of a target cash to reach, you have to reach like 10 million or something like that. A race where you're trying to be the first to reach a certain cash goal, or sort of this all-in goal uh, where everybody's sort of trying to earn as much money as we can uh, once we reach this one goal. Nonetheless, each question is worth some cash and it's kind of fun, but uh, you, can, you can build classes out. So I can say this one's going out for Ramal. You can give them starting cash. Each question is worth some cash. And when you start, it's really small. It's like you're making $3 the correct question and minus like $2 or something when you get the question wrong or maybe it's minus three, I don't know. But um, what it looks like is, well this would be like on the phone is what it would look like, right? And so here, a French nobleman who had great political power is Eleanor of Aquitaine. So I click it, ooh, I made a dollar, right? And now I can go to the shop or continue, I hit continue. Uh, and here, each developed in a, diff a different way of life. Okay, that's, I got a little more for the second question because of a streak bonus. Now, uh, if I go to the shop, there are these four categories that you can upgrade, and it's pretty cool. So I could try to earn more money per question, and I can make $10 per question, cost 10 to buy, and you can see they, they go up all sorts of amounts. Um, we go back to the shop, there's a streak bonus, same thing, so for getting question right after right, it's gonna earn you more. Multiplier just makes the general questions itself great uh, in both the streak bonus and the money per question. And then insurance is, if you get some wrong, you're gonna lose less money the more insurance you bought. So students have to kind of spend their money wisely to sort of upgrade here. And it's just sort of fun to see. Yeah, up on the screen, you can put a leaderboard, there's this graph that sort of shows you how the whole class is collecting and earning money. And you can see the graph kind of go down when somebody makes a big purchase, like they buy one of those later uh, upgrades and it costs, you know, 500,000 to buy. Uh, I found also at the end of the game, it gets a little intense when your students have to decide, is it worth spending 500,000? Like, will I, you know, in the last 90 seconds, will I recoup that or, I, or won't I? Um, and they have to make that calculation on top of the, the, the the game calculation, it's just a lot of fun and it produces a lot of neat neat results. What I also like is that students can, uh, 
the data that I get from students is what I like. So you get this like really hefty sort of breakdown of how students reacted to each question. And it's not like a quiz. You're not just gonna like answer the 40 questions. You're gonna continue to get those same questions over and over again uh, until we've reached that amount. So there's a little like rote practice there, which is kind of nice, but also I get to see, were they consistent? You know, did they know that answer? You know, they, that, they, they got that question five times and they answered it right, you know, five out of five, four out of five, two out of five. Right, you can, get, you can get whole class data so I can see how everyone reacted on this question, that question, and then you get drilled down each particular student. So it's really kind of cool and it was really easy to sort of streamline into my classroom. I really love it and I want you to check out GimKit. I'm pretty certain on this first one, I went well over the two minutes, but uh, you know, let's, let's stick around for more. I hope you have a great week. Uh, as always, think about subscribing to the channel. We'd love to have that. Take care, guys. Shoot.